Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, February the 4th, 2017. And this is an update video on Venus. There has been a lot of interest in Venus over the last few months, with Venus being so bright in the evening sky, particularly for those people living in the Northern Hemisphere, which is just coming out of the Northern Hemisphere winter, where the days are shorter and the nights are darker, and the sky gets darker a lot sooner, therefore Venus looks a lot brighter against the dark sky. Compared to last time Venus was in the evening sky, in the Northern Hemisphere it was summertime, where the days were longer, and the sky took longer to darken in the evening, and Venus didn't look so bright. So this is why it is actually looking a lot brighter to a lot of people this time around, because the sky is darker for observers in the Northern Hemisphere. So I've got this set to October the 1st, 2016, uh, just to set the stage. And I've got my location set to Tampa, Florida, United States. And uh, what we're looking at here is the, the orbit line around the Sun, just so we can appreciate the position of Venus. So it's not just a blob of light in the sky, we can actually see its relationship between the Sun and the Earth. I'm going to turn off the daylight here, just to make it easier to see. And so you can see that Venus is on its orbit from around the back of the Sun. It's coming around this way. And this point here, when it gets right out the edge of its orbit from our viewpoint, is called greatest elongation. So let me turn on the daylight again. And I'm going to step this forward a couple of hours so that the Sun is just below the horizon. And now that we've checked out where the orbit is, I'm going to turn on the local path for Venus, just so we can track its motion across the sky as I step this forward. Now we've got all this information out on the left-hand side as well, including uh, the distance from the observer to Venus. So currently here it was just over one astronomical unit away, which is the average distance between the Sun and the Earth about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. So I'm going to step this forward now one day at a time from October the 1st and you'll see Venus's progress across the sky. You can see that it's it's actually heading towards the southwest which is exactly what people have been observing. And now it's starting to head upwards by November the 1st, as it's coming along the back of that orbit, remember it's following this line of its orbit around the back of the Sun until it gets out to this point of greatest elongation, which is right about here. So now you can see that Venus is getting quite high in the sky, and the Sun is lower as we approach December 21st, 22nd, the, uh, the solstice, and now we're heading back in the other direction, and by January 14th, I think it was, let's have a look, by January 14th, Venus is at greatest elongation, so it's right on the, out on the edge of its orbit as it comes around the back of the sun, and now it's going to head towards us as it comes around the front side of its orbit. So it's still extremely high in the sky. Let me just back that up one click and zoom out a little bit. You'll remember that we had a grouping, let me just get that right, a grouping of Mars, the Moon and Venus in the sky on January 31st or February 1st depending on your location. And uh, this further confirms that it is Venus that we're seeing and not Nibiru, Planet X or something like that. People have been saying, it's not Venus, it's too bright to be Venus. Well, as I always say to people making this claim, if it's not Venus, then you need to tell us and show us where the real Venus is. Because this object that you're saying is not Venus is actually right where Venus is supposed to be. So you've got a problem. So anyway, this confirms that this is Venus. It is right where it's supposed to be. So let's step this on. And so we're up to January 31st at the moment. And you can see that Venus is 
it has just leveled out in the sky and now it's starting to head downwards as it comes around the front side of its orbit here heading around getting lower down in the sky and now it is rapidly moving down we're into march now march the fourth and venus is going to just race out of the sky towards the sun and then by mid-march it's going to be too close to the setting sun and lost in the glare by march 25th venus will be parallel with the sun as the sun is setting on the horizon so there's a quick update on venus for you and what to expect over the next few weeks and venus will be progressing into the morning sky will be the bright morning star As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.